Hey, how's it going? This is Steve from uh, Scooter West, Vespa Motorsport. Uh, we're once again with the Typhoon 125, redesigned for 2011 in short supply, and in 2012 it's in the full lineup from Piaggio. Anyhow, if you've got this bike and you want a top case, there's really only one option, and that's the option we're going to talk about right now. Everything comes from Shad, and it starts with the rear top case mount. We're going to cheat a little bit, as we've already got it installed, uh, but you can kind of see here, setting in place, this is the factory kind of grab rail it comes with. These three Allens, you remove those to remove this rail. So take that off, get that out of the way. Once again, we've jumped ahead because everything's already installed. But same three mounting spots. Everything aligns perfectly with the Shad products. Uh, simple, put it on there, throw the bolts in, and you're basically good to go. All right, as you can kind of see here, the rack's installed. It's still got the passenger grab bar, which is really nice, so when the seat's closed, still a convenient spot, very secure to move the bike around, take it off the center stand, move it forward, move it backwards, park it, etc. There's actually a nice steel reinforced gusset that supports, you can kind of see it there, that supports you know, the middle weight and the carrying portion of the top case. All powder coated, once again, from Shad, all Shad products made in Spain. The cool things with the Shad products is, once again, it's a Shad mounting plate. The part number on that one is TY29-SH. TY29-SH, and once again, that's the whole mount. But it comes, is built into the mount welded in place is this flat piece of steel that's specifically designed for any of the Shad top case mounting plates. The case that's on this is actually an SH29, um, but any of the Shad cases, SH26, SH33, any of the Shad, you know, lighted base plates, all that would work with this particular bike. So this is a good angle seeing like the underside, and how clean the installation is down here. If you've looked at other scooters with top cases, you know, they come with those funky W clips and some universal hardware. The nice thing about this one is it's all shad, top case, and mount. Very clean installation from the underside. All right, time to install the top case. This is the 29 liter shad top case. The Scooter West part number is SH29. Once again, that's SH29. As you can see here, there's the male alignment tab, and the female is built into the mounting plate. So in order to install this thing, they're designed to come off and on with the push of a button. And they've also got this convenient handle here for carrying purposes. So when you do remove it, you can actually carry it as if it were a little briefcase or something to that effect. The other Shad cases, the 26 and the 33, have similar features as far as ease of removability and comfort when you're actually carrying it around like an accessory kind of carrying at it. But to install it, you kind of push down on this, make sure the finger aligns all the way. I personally think it's easiest to have the lid open kind of takes two hands to actually re-click it into place. So there's the finger in the front, and at the back here, there's a spring-loaded latch. So you just make sure that lines up, push down, push the latch in, and voila. Same thing with the shag cases. They've got a simple little lock on the top here. So that'll lock in that position. You can't possibly lock the keys inside the case because you actually need the key in the top case in order to actually lock the lid shut. And same goes for this. You can actually push in on this and actually release the case with you. And like I said, it's got that as a convenient carrying handle. So I release it and away you go. So once again, that's the Shad S829 top case and the Typhoon 125 Shad mounting rack. Part number on that is TY29-SH.